Okay, so、uh, this week I went to visit our production center at、uh, Fujita. Well, Fujita is absolutely massive. You know, it's、uh, it's actually one of the biggest bike factory in the world. And、uh, on the left, on the left, you can see the workshop、uh, number two.、Uh, that's、uh, where our assembly line is.、Uh, and you know, like such workshops, there's like there's like twenty two of them. The weather is pretty gloomy because、uh, apparently there's a sandstorm from Mongolia. At、uh, workshop number four, that's where our frames are being produced. So the frame production and the assembly line are, you know, like just within. I don't know, two hundred meters. Yeah. Yeah, and、uh, I actually came a little late, like a few days, because by the time I got here, the frame production for our Bullet GT has already been finished. But I would still like to show you the process. And now we are going into the、uh, the actual frame production here. And、uh, for the frame, we're using aluminum 6061 uh, alloy uh, for our Bullet GT because it's、uh, generally considered to be more weldable and it has better corrosion resistance and.、Uh, It's more readily available. While for seven zero zero five aluminum alloy, you're gonna have to wait like a little bit. So it's not as stable、uh, production-wise. And uh, additionally, the、uh, the sixty sixty one frame can be heat treated to increase its strength, which is what we are doing for our Bullet GT. And now we're seeing, you know, like there are different sections、uh, to where the frames are being made because it needs to go through different processes.、Uh, you can see that、uh, that guy was probably welding them, and and they are, I think they're welding as well.、Uh, they later told me that、uh, they are producing the decalon frame. And now we're seeing the two preparation section. You know, this is where they are extruding the frames and、uh, bending it to a certain desired shape. And after the tubes are prepared, they then went to this cutting and、uh, metering machine.、Uh, they cut the tubes to the appropriate lengths based on the design and the geometry. They also shape the ends of the tube so that they、uh, they fit together precisely with other tubes in the frame. This step ensures strong joints and high quality finished product. And now we are at the、uh, machining and drilling section.、Uh, this part is to add additional features to the frame, such as you know cable guys,、uh, rack mounts, and、uh, battery mounts. Uh, this part involves、uh, milling and drilling, you know, and tapping holes on the frame.、Uh, for example, uh, this uh, this part they are you know cutting this frame section. That's before and after. And now we are going to polish the frame、uh, to give it a nice looking finish. And here you can see the before and after the polishing process. If you can see our car, then it's good. 
After polishing, we are going to the welding part of the frame production. Uh, this part is where we join the frames together. And after the welding are done, uh, it then goes through a heat treatment uh, process. Uh, that part is to increase the durability and strength of the frame. You can see the frames are going into uh, a different section. And now on the right you can see uh, these are actually our fully GT frames. Uh, they are waiting in the line to be sent to the, uh, the pen shop. Uh, they have just been, uh, been heat treated. And in the next video, I will show you guys the, uh, the painting process.